a novelty goal to wrap up Arsenal's comfortable win when a massive Seaman goal kick carried the length of the field, bounced once, forcing his opposite number Martin Taylor to push it onto the crossbar before Alan Smith ran in to head his second goal of the match and Arsenal's third. And yet it might have been different because four times in the first 25 minutes, Derby's Dean Saunders had the turn of heel to put himself through on Arsenal's goal. Uncharacteristically, he missed each time and in the same period, Arsenal scored twice. A poor Derby back pass in the first five minutes led to the cross that Mark Wright missed, but Alan Smith didn't, 1-0. And Derby keeper Martin Taylor, replacing Peter Shilton today, had made a series of fine saves before he was caught on the floor when Paul Merson turned the ball in from an acute angle. 2-0, barely a quarter of the match gone, and Arsenal then demonstrated the quality in their side with some fine moves involving Thomas, Limpar and Rowcastle. Arsenal, well worth the Four win. Four points after they drew at Queen's Park Rangers, while Arsenal beat Derby. Crystal Palace stay third after beating Sunderland and Leeds move up to fourth following that 4-1 win over Chelsea. The Gunners skipper may be in jail but it was Derby who languished this afternoon. They conceded their first goal barely four minutes into the game. Alan Smith heading home from Limpar's cross. Derby were clearly cracking under sustained pressure. A desperate handball going unnoticed. But Arsenal inevitably went 2-0 up when a Paul Merson shot crossed the line in the 25th minute. Derby occasionally came within striking distance, but Dean Saunders' finishing never troubled David Seaman. And in the second half, the keeper turned striker. His clearance caught Martin Taylor unawares, giving Alan Smith his ninth goal in eight games. Even Derby's regular keeper, Peter Shilton, would have been lucky to stop that one. Oliver Phillips, ITN Sport, Highbury. United at Highbury. The leaders, with two games in hand, play one of them tomorrow against Crystal Palace, whose third place was taken today by Leeds. Mel Stolen making his 350th league appearance rounded off the 3-0 defeat of Wimbledon, giving the Yorkshire side their highest placing for 15 years. Matthew Letissier scored twice as Southampton added to Spurs' problems as they continue to drift away from the leaders. Vinnie Jones was back at Highbury and it was anything but a top and bottom of the table clash as Sheffield caused all sorts of problems for Arsenal in the first half. It was another one of his throws that led to United's deserved lead through Bryson. An upset was on the cards. But the second half was a different story. Arsenal playing all the football, Groves unnecessarily pulled down, and Dixon making it one all. Davis freed Winterburn to set up the second. It was a pity it had to be an own goal from Beasley. Number three started with Merson, a deflection of his cross, and if ever a man picked his spot, Thomas did. Goal number four featured Davis finding Smith to perfection for his tenth in nine games and Arsenal's unbeaten league record stretching to 20 games. Sheffield United, one of the First Division's form teams over Christmas, took the lead at Highbury. Vinnie Jones's cross was deflected to Ian Bryson. Bryson's third of the week kept United in front until five minutes into the second half when Vinnie Jones definitely pulled at Perry Grove's shirt. You can hardly criticise the referee for awarding a penalty. Lee Dixon, one all. Arsenal then ran away with it. The next went down as a Paul Beasley own goal, but we've looked at it a few times. It's Alan Smith's goal. A toe poke right through Beasley's legs. 2-1. Another break down the left, Nigel Winterburn to Paul Merson, Arsenal now in full flight, and a late contender for celebration scenes of the year. Michael Thomas with a cute goal, followed by a touch of Saturday afternoon fever. United reduced to a standstill by this stage. Five minutes from the end, Paul Davies picking out Alan Smith his second on the day, and his 11th in nine games. Arsenal winning at Manchester City this afternoon by a goal to nil. That goal scored by the very prolific Alan Smith. Also noticeable that Arsenal's goal difference is vastly superior to Liverpool's. Still in third. Hit the crossbar through Winterburn with their only attack of the first half. Scored from their first in the second, and almost still two more goals for breaks that were breathtakingly impudent. The key, of course, was that they defended superbly. And that in spite of being forced to play the inexperienced Hillier for two-thirds of the contest after O'Leary was concussed. City had far more of the possession in a match which was razor sharp in midfield, which was offered few created opportunities. Quinn had one of the best in the 20th minute, but his header went wide of the far post. 
the home side were on top then but really looked like saving themselves after helping Arsenal to the decisive goal it came in the 14th minute after Redmond needlessly gave away a corner from it Hillier and Thomas worked the ball to Smith whose 13th goal of the season was struck from outside the right corner of the six yard box 14 minutes of the second half had gone Yes, 30,000 fans at Main Road to see Arsenal extend their unbeaten run now to 21 games. Their winner came from Alan Smith in 59 minutes, his 11th goal in 10 games. Arsenal still only a point adrift of the leaders and disappointed that Leeds couldn't help them today. Arsenal started as 6-1 to one second favourites to win the cup and they soon set about justifying the odds when Alan Smith put them ahead against Sunderland. That's 13 goals in the last 11 games for Smith. Just on half-time, Anders Limpar scored his ninth of the season. Arsenal went in well satisfied. Perhaps too satisfied, Sunderland were given a potential lifeline when David O'Leary neatly lobbed his own goalkeeper. He's not expected to send the video to the lip reader. And anyway, Arsenal held on 2-1. That's Alan Smith, who took three months to score his first league goal and now can't stop with 13 goals in the last 11 matches. Matt Tyler has been to meet him. Alan Smith certainly knows how to celebrate a goal. After all, he scored more than 150 for Arsenal and Leicester. Goes Alan Smith, Lineker, came off Dodd. Only half cleared. Oh, what a goal from Alan Smith! What a goal that was! Since leaving Leicester, Smith and Gary Lineker have both gone on to win the Golden Boot as the First Division's leading scorer. Smith's came in Arsenal's championship winning year and now takes pride of place in the family home alongside the dozens of toys for 11-month-old daughter Jessica. Life couldn't be better for the 28-year-old striker, but he admits that his season had a slow start. The first part of the season was difficult for me. Um, it wasn't helped by the fact that I uh, twisted my ankle twice in, in some games and I was struggling to recover from that. But uh, on top of that, I wasn't playing particularly well and not scoring, but then I, uh, I got two against Southampton and uh, it, it snowballed from there, really. And it all, as I say, has come right in the last 11 games, 13 goals for you in those 11 games. Are you playing any differently or is it just the, the fact that chances are coming to you and you're putting them away now? Yeah, that's it, really. It's a confidence thing. Um, the chances you've got to get in those goal scoring chances but when you are on a run like, like I am when the chances do come you just uh, expect to put them away and you're confident enough to put them away. The jailing of captain Tony Adams was the latest blow in a season packed with controversy but despite fears that their championship hopes could collapse the Arsenal players have reacted positively to keep alive their unbeaten league record. I think that Tony's uh, position um, really I mean it came as a great shock to everybody within the club Everybody was very sad, um, but it strengthens our resolve to do well. Um, we want to be in a challenging position for when Tony's able to play for Arsenal again, and, and, and touch wood at the moment, we're continuing that form, so hopefully we, we'll carry it on. And the points deduction, is that something now that the players have put well and truly behind them, or is always in the back of your mind that if it wasn't for that, you, you perhaps would be leading the no, table? I think we don't think about that at the moment. The only time we'll probably think about that is if, if we do lose the championship by one, one or two points, but uh, I think that's out of our minds now, really, and uh, we're just trying to get on with it. A lot of differing views, aren't there, about the validity of uh, taking points away from clubs. Mm. What's your view on that one? Well, I, I don't think it was the right thing to do. I think they could have handled it in a different way. Um, you know, I think the fans are tending to be punished more than anything. It's not their fault. And I don't think the skirmish was as bad as it was made out to be. But, you know, the FA were under a lot of pressure to act, and uh, that's what they did. But we, we've got to try and put that behind us now. Alan Smith's goal set Arsenal on the way to that dramatic championship winning victory over Liverpool. The first time the league title had gone to Highbury since the famous double winning Gunners of 71. If anything, it's made the club even more hungry for success. So how does the current Arsenal team compare to George Graham's side of 89? I think we're as good if not better now. Um, we've proved that with the run that we've gone on. Um, we're very tight defensively. I think we've got the best defensive record in the league and we're scoring plenty of goals. Um, and there's a great spirit within the team. And uh, we're as good, I'd say, if not better. Out of form Spurs will find Smith hard to handle at White Hart Lane today. He's a man bang in form and looking for more goals. Merson, oh my lovely back heel. 
Smith with a shot, a fantastic goal! Well, he mm. certainly got the, the scoring touch, Jim, and I saw the, the first game uh, this season between them, a 0-0 draw at Highbury, yeah. and I thought then that, uh, that Arsenal were a bit unlucky. Yeah. How do you see this one? Uh, I think that Arsenal are the better side, better than Tottenham, and uh, it's going to be very hard for Spurs this afternoon to beat that Arsenal yeah, side, so. especially with uh, Mr Smith in... Limpar. Fennec. Now Thomas. Lovely touch from Gascoigne. It's a great move from Tottenham. Has it produced the goal? No. Lineker and Gascoigne. And it's no exaggeration to say that that was world class. Mitchell Thomas. Really has been nothing between the sides in the second half. But now Lineker for Tottenham. And David O'Leary with some heroic defending for Arsenal. Lineker can retrieve it on the right. Allen! Stewart. Well, O'Leary who now loses his balance and Gascoigne for Spurs. Lineker's onside, the angle's difficult and somehow the ball was steered away from what seemed to be a certain goal. Nelson in the middle, joined now by Smith. Michael Thomas. Arsenal looking for a real show of inspiration here, and Tottenham likewise. Allen has got Walsh to his right. Lineker is the only other player up for Spurs. And Walsh gets past Davis and plays Paul Allen in for Spurs, and Seaman was allowed to make the save. Nice dummy by Lineker. Here's Walsh. He's got Lineker up with him, and Seaman yet again. Brilliant David Seaman. It seemed as if the uh, Arsenal goal also led a bit of a charm life as well. Now, Three in the league deserve to end Arsenal's unbeaten run. Gascoigne going close in his last game before a two-match suspension. The Arsenal saviour was David Seaman. Top-class goalkeeping throughout. For a goalless draw, it was a thoroughly entertaining game. The bulk and the best of the chances fell to Spurs. Lineker crossing to Paul Allen. Had it been the other way around, who knows? If it's any consolation, Spurs won't come up against a keeper of Seaman's class every week. Having said that, next week it's Peter Shilton on the match. Just three in the league deserve to end Arsenal's unbeaten run. Gascoigne going close in his last game before a two-match suspension. The Arsenal saviour was David Seaman, top-class goalkeeping throughout. For a goalless draw, it was a thoroughly entertaining game, but the bulk and the best of the chances fell to Spurs. Merson got the only goal of their game with Everton at Highbury, while Warren Barton's equaliser for Wimbledon meant Liverpool had to settle for a draw at Anfield. And so the champions are forced into second place in Division 1 for the first time this season. Crystal Palace in... Having won their previous five games, Everton were no pushovers for the league's most consistent side. They held out until just after half-time when Perry Groves got away down the right. Smith Dummied and Paul Merson celebrated a new four-year contract by putting Arsenal top for the first time this season. And I'm not saying Dave Seaman isn't, but it seemed an odd move at the time well, because he is a good goalkeeper and he'd done nothing wrong at Arsenal. No, it, it, but he's uh, certainly done a lot for, for, for Leeds. But Lee, Lee Chapman, 17 goals in all That's competitions right, this yeah. year. I mean, again, when he was at the Arsenal, Jimmy, I mean, you know, he, oh, he did have a bad spell. He had a bad spell, the but the big fella is looking good. Yeah. Better skill there, a lovely That's goal. Right. Yeah. So there you go. There's two players with revenge on their minds. And Chris White, who's also in the squad as, as an ex Arsenal yeah, player as well. Yeah. You know, whether yeah. he will play or not. Who, who Would you fancy an upset there? No, no. You, you think, fancy you think Arsenal. Arsenal? Yeah. Controversy over a disallowed effort by Arsenal. For a change, it wasn't the professional foul that had the fans arguing. They were warming up that old chestnut offside. Smith. Oh, it's Davis! Offside. Won't count. 
Well, the replay conclusively shows the linesman's error. But it also suggests that had the whistle not gone, John Lukic might have made a more positive effort to save. But near the end, Arsenal's goalkeeper, David Seaman, could not have been more alert. It's struck and cross. Oh, it's going to come out of Afghanistan! And that's the best moment of the whole afternoon. A great shot by Gary McAllister and a wonderful save by David Seaman. 